good. It wouldn't work. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd like to thank all of you for being here, and of course, I'd like to thank our wonderful organizers who have really busted their ass to get this all together. So, thank you. Thank you all for being here. My name is Gregory Lucero, and I'm a, a member of the Freedom Road Socialist Organization and the founder of the Revolutionary Students' Union, and now the president uh, at the uh, Slick chapter. Um, I'd like to talk to you about three things. Uh, first and foremost, on this day of solidarity, I want to tell you about a man who really needs your solidarity. I want to talk to you about Carlos Montes. Carlos Montes has been a long-term student, labor, and immigration activist. And Carlos Montes is facing multiple felony charges because the FBI claims that he's a felon in violation of firearm codes. So here's a the, the little bit of the story. The FBI claims since 1969, so 40 years ago, when there was a student strike for black, Chicano, and women's studies in the East LA College that he was leading. When the police beat up and arrested demonstrators, Carlos was arrested on his way home from the protest, so he wasn't even there. And he was accused uh, by this very strong deputy of assaulting a, de a sheriff's deputy with an empty Coke can. So th that shows the strength of our police, <laughs> deadly Coke can. As is not surprising, this charge was sent as a misdemeanor according to recent documents. So they know that it's a misdemeanor charge. There's literally court documents saying it's a misdemeanor charge. And if you're sentenced with a misdemeanor charge in California, even if you're charged with a felony, it's only a misdemeanor. Why does this matter? Well, basically, the district attorney, Steve Cooley, under the guidance of the FBI, is basing his case on this 42-year-old misdemeanor, disguising it as a bogus felony charge. Without the past felony, all the charges against Montes, all of them that he's facing, would be completely dismissed. Both sides agree that no prison time has been served, which makes it a legally binding misdemeanor in the state of California, um, and they're still pursuing the case. And in fact, the trial starts in two days on uh, Thursday. Now, why does this matter? It matters because this is not a case about firearms, this is not a case about an empty Coke can being thrown at a cop in the 60s. This is a, justice. It's social justice. They're targeting anti-war immigration activists because they don't like us speaking out and organizing. So I'm asking you to take a few minutes out of your day, read up about Carlos Montes, and read up, up about the Committee to Stop FDR Repression, and join us for the call in this Thursday. Because it's not okay when the police and FBI charge us, whether we are immigrant rights activists, student activists, anarchists, communists, animal rights liberationists, or union members. We need to say, no, an immigrant to one is an immigrant to all. <laughs> the second thing I want to talk about real quick, and I'll try to keep it brief, is the meaning of May Day. We remember the murder of those uh, brave anarchist labor organizers, and we acknowledge that the working class today remains under attack. I'm asking everyone here to promise to fight for working class people just like them. We need you, thank you, we need you guys to join mass organizations. We need to stop raising awareness. People are already aware. Yeah. What we need to do is find campaigns to win things for working class people like us. Yeah. If you want to sign up and find out more about the Revolutionary Student Union, uh, talk to her. Uh, over back here, we have Workers International League. If you want to learn more about their organization, they have a wonderful document, Socialist Appeal. Uh, Trav, over there, is with the Freedom Road Socialist Organization. If you'd like to find out more, go there. Someone from the IWW, stand up. Somebody, stand up. Right back there. There are some IWW members. Go get involved with them. Someone from United for Social Justice. Someone, stand up, USJ, right over there. Go talk to Victor, learn how you can fight for immigrant rights, and of course it wouldn't be complete. The Utah Dream Team, this is one of the best causes you can fight for. Go talk to them and find out how you can get involved. This May Day should not be about us rallying and feeling good about ourselves. It should be about us making a commitment to these organizations and to ourselves and the people of Utah, the people of the United States and America, and the people of the world that we will take one, not take one more step back. 
that we have drawn a line in the sand and we will stand and we will fight. Amen. So, the final thing I want to talk to you about is perhaps the most important thing in my life right now. Haircuts. It may not look like it uh, from the evidence, but I mean, there's something we all need, and we need them to be inexpensive, and we need people who are trained. At Solar Community College, President Cynthia Biatau and a rubber stamp board of trustees have not given the cosmetology department there any chance to save itself, but it's simply decided that it's going to be cut without any wishes of the students, instructors, or the community. Are you okay with that? No! All right. Yeah, let's get a haircut. Maybe I will when we save the program. We want to fight for this program and save it, and we need your help. The Board of Regents can reverse the decision. All of us working together have managed to have a one call in, just one call in, last Wednesday. We have gotten the Board of Regents to delay the decision from May to July, saving this program for an extra two months for us to fight. <laughs> So we're asking you to take some of your time out of your day to call Tamara Rotti. If you guys want to pull out your phone, I'm going to give you a number. 801-321-7122, and you can find this online. She is the assistant to the commissioner of the Board of Regents, and she is in charge of our case. We need every, every one of you, just call. Okay, number is 801-321-7122. And we need your help with this fight. And if you want to find out more, sign up for the mailing list of the Revolutionary Students Union. I'm asking all of you to help us in this campaign for working class women. And when we say, or when they say cut back, we say fight back. When we they say cut back, we say fight back. They say cut back, we say fight back. Next up, we have Justin Kramer. He's from Occupy Salt Lake City. Yeah.